Mike Babcock got a little choked up today as he bid farewell to Hockey Town. He's accepted a job as the head coach of the Toronto Maple Leafs. It's yeah, been, seven sports yeah. anchor Brad Galley here now. And Brad, a tough day for the coach. And he finally answered questions about all that money. <laughs> yeah, 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 a little choked yeah. up today. He talked yeah. about the Illages, he talked about Ken Holland. And then when he started thanking the players, mm -hmm. that's when he could barely hold it together. He thanked everybody. But when he talked about the players, that's the moment that really got him. He said this was a new opportunity in Toronto, a challenge too good to pass up. And he did talk about that big payday. He said he expected it to play a much bigger part in his decision than it ultimately did. Money to a certain level is, a, is an important thing. I worked real hard going into this negotiation period. I looked at every NBA coach, every NFL coach I went through. I did all this work, didn't use any of it. In the, I didn't, because in the end, everybody, the Illiches were fantastic to me. It's not like I was going to be on food stamps to live here. Like, give me a break. They looked after me big time. Is it about money? Sure, it's about money. It's, but there was enough money in every place. It didn't have a factor in the decision. I already have, you know, suits. I'm good. For a long time, Babcock always saw Toronto as a homecoming project. He won two gold medals for Canada. All day he was emotional because he loved Detroit. He says he's going to stay here with his family in Northville. They're not selling the house, but Toronto was where he always wanted to go. He's going home for a new challenge. I mean, that, that's a great thing, but $50 million didn't hurt. Yeah. It, did not. it definitely did not. <laughs>